our e-learning training program will help you master the fast Excel development template and then you'll be able to build resilient industrial strength systems in just a few minutes. So here's an illustration of what you'll be able to do once you become proficient. First, I'll explain the principle behind the system we're going to build and then we'll go ahead and build it. Here's a list of sales orders sorted by required date and here is the cumulative quantity that our customers require. Over here we have some inventory and there are two purchase orders due in at future dates. These also have a cumulative quantity. Now what we want to do is to calculate when we will have sufficient supply to satisfy each of the sales orders in full. We stack the demand and supply records together and sort them by cumulative quantity. This has the effect of interleaving the records in such a way that each sales order can be satisfied by the supply that lies below it. The last sales order has no supply below it, so it'll be short. The available column contains a formula that returns the supply date for each supply record, then passes that date upwards to the demand records above it. Here are three files outputted by the ERP system each day and we'll go ahead and import them into the development template. We copy the query template and import inventory. We treat the component code as a text field. Copy the file name. There's the inventory data. Paste the file name into the tab. Formulas go on row 8. Now we'll import the purchase orders and demand files in the same way. In the Visual Basic Editor, we'll type in the commands to refresh the three files. Hit Update to run the macros. And you'll see it's taken about four seconds to pull the data in. Now we'll use the stack template to stack the three tables. We name each tab and a formula counts how many records there are in each table. You'll see there's 16,000 records altogether. Set up the column headings we require. and for each of the three tables we point to the columns where the data resides. Where there is no data for that table we point to an empty column.
drag the formulas across, create the named ranges and update. We'll label the records as being supply or demand. We'll modify the stack formula to return the supply or demand type. And update again. We identify the columns that we want to sort by. Put the tab name in the clipboard and go to the Visual Basic Editor. We put the stack function in the macro and now we want to sort by three columns. Sort by type, then component, then date. Now if we run the update all macro, it takes about 10 seconds to complete. Here's the formula to calculate the cumulative quantities for each component. Now we'll put it on row 8. Register cum as a column we want to sort on. In the macro, there's the function for pasting down the second set of formulas and the function for sorting on two columns. We can run this part of the macro directly from the Visual Basic Editor. This is the date that will be applied to demand that's short. This is the formula to pass the date available from the supply up to the demand records. Now we make the function to paste down the third set of formulas. And again, we can run it from here. Now we make a copy of the pivot template. A yellow tab means it's a report. We change the data source for the pivot table to the stack supply demand table. Now we can drag in the columns we want in our report. Now we put in some meaningful headings and tidy up the formatting. Now we put into the macro the function to refresh the pivot table. And we'll decide to finish on the pivot table report every time we refresh. Fresh data gets pulled in. Here's our report. And you can see it covers about 1900 orders. This order here is due August 31st but only available September 8. 
we can drill down and see that this component here is the problem. The components with dates available zero are in inventory. On the second order, this one is the problem component. We pulled in three files from the host ERP system, stacked them, sorted them, pasted down some formulas and made a pivot table report. The system refreshes in 14 seconds and took less than 10 minutes to build. We moved fast, but that's the speed you can expect when you become proficient with the fast Excel development template.